Good morning, subbies. For the last couple of weeks, I have been adding tile to my kitchen backsplash. I decided this was a project I was going to take on myself. I did not want to uh, hire anybody to do it, especially when I knew I could do it myself and we had everything I needed here to do it. But I tell you, it was an undertaking. It looks nice. At first, I wasn't going to take the uh, the half of, but you know, in kitchen, sometimes when they put granite or quartz or whatever, they put a little half of uh, that on the wall and consider it a backsplash. But that wasn't good enough for me. I wanted an actual backsplash. And looking at it, I wasn't sure if I was going to put the towel on top of it or take it down. Me, since I was doing it, I wanted to be done right. I wanted to be happy with the results. Never mind all that in the background. <laughs> um, I decided I'm going to take those little half backsplash pieces off. I tell you, it wasn't easy. It was a nightmare, but I got it off. Um, I started on the side of the stove. And um, took that off with whatever I could. I'm still up in the air. See, I have my uh, blade here to try and see if I can run the blade across here to loosen this up to see if I can take this little piece off. See how easy it is to come off, how much patching I would have to do on the wall. Do I want to take it off? Is it worth it? Blah, blah, blah. I'm so undecided. They glue it down pretty tough. Now, these two pieces, I don't think it would be difficult to come off. So, I might take those off. I don't know how that would look if I was to leave, take these off and leave this on the other side. Because as I stated, this one looks like one long piece. Which would be a bitch to try to take this thing off. So, hmm. I just, for some reason, think the tile would look a lot better without this backsplash piece. You know? I'll see what I decide. I decided to take it off after all. It broke off into two pieces. I'm going to tell you, it was hard as heck. I even went and got my blow dryer, which was useless. I needed a heat gun. But I managed to get it off. Anyway. Now I have to tackle this side. This is not going to be any fun, but I was determined to get it off. And then I decided I'm going to go ahead and tackle that side. I know it's going to be a beast. But I cannot have one side looking one way and the other looking another. It's got to go. I'm going to have to cut through all that... Um, caulking and get a heat gun and heat that up and take it loose. As you can see, this is the other side. I tore that wall up, put a hole in it. That's why that blue tape is there. At the time, when I looked at a lot of YouTube videos on how to do this, some of the tools I needed was, uh, one was a um, heat gun. Of course, we couldn't find it, so which I know my husband has a heat gun, but we couldn't find it. He couldn't find it. When we moved here, no telling what happened. Anyway, um, so I did the best I could. I finally got it off. On the other side, to the right of the stove, I got that off, but I put a little hole in the wall. But that was okay. I talked about patching it, but then I realized once we put the drywall adhesive on it, I didn't need to patch it. Just put the adhesive on it and just 
put the tile on it. So that's what I did. Then there was the other side where the sink is, which is a long piece of granite. Now, after taking off those other two, I decided, oh no, ma'am, I'm not messing with that. I'm going to leave it alone. But then again, it wouldn't look right if I had one side off and the other side on. So I went to Home Depot and got myself a heat gun. I followed all the instructions that I saw on YouTube videos, and I finally got that off. It broke off into two pieces. So now I felt better. I can get it the way I want it. And I'm glad I did. Now the next decision I had to make was did I want to do the pattern, a brick laid pattern or a stacked pattern? I'll put a picture up here somewhere of what I mean by the patterns. Anyhow, I decided on the brick and I attempted to do it and I started with the bottom row. Now listen to my husband. <laughs> Watching the video stated that I should start in the middle and work my way out. That way, if I have to cut little pieces, I can. But no, I listened to my husband. And um, he said, what did he say? To start the ends and work my way in. Mm -mm. At the end, it was a little, it was behind the uh, faucet, so it wasn't so noticeable. And then once you put the grout on, you don't really notice. So, yeah, it still turned out okay, as you'll see. But I'm not going to show myself constantly doing it. I'm going to show bits and pieces of me working at it. And I hope you enjoy this video. Look what I did to the wall trying to get that off. I don't know how strange this is going to be if I just remove the backsplash from this side and not remove it from over here. Because as you can see, this is awful. I would tear this wall apart trying to get this big piece off of here. Look at all that. That's a lot of work. I'm just scared how much, I mean my husband can patch the wall, that's no problem. But I'm just so scared the damage I'm going to do. So, this might be a different in the kitchen, but it's my kitchen and I can do it however I want to do it. So, I think I'm just going to focus on the tile on this wall without the uh, granite backsplash. Leave the granite backsplash here and just tile the wall. I'm exhausted. Okay, I managed to get that part out. I managed to get this section out. It wasn't easy. It broke off here, so I'm gonna have to work on piece by piece. Because I don't think it's gonna come off in one piece. But what I did, I used a heating gun. Some shims. I looked at some YouTube videos on how to do this. So I need to work on sections at a time. Here's a heat gun, shims, rub removing tool, <sighs> spatula, putty knife. I'm trying a little bit of everything to get this off. And then I have to peel off all this mess and patch these holes and prepare this wall for drywall. I said repair it for drywall. Prepare it for drywall, no. Prepare it to put tile on it. 
So I'm going to work on spending today trying to get this stone off. And my husband's going to patch these holes in the morning. And I think Monday I'm going to start doing the pile. I mean doing the tile. I'm so tired I can't even talk. <sighs> got it down it was a nightmare it took me about two hours to get this thing off but finally I'm glad I did take it down I wouldn't have been happy if I did all right and all of it is down we're going to take this outside put it in the back of the garage I have that piece that broke off of this and then of course the two pieces that came from this side yesterday so we're gonna get it out of here and I'm done for the day tomorrow he's gonna to patch the holes in the wall and prep for Monday I'm doing is laying out the tile I'm going to start at the bottom row and I'm going to use spacers at the very first row because I want to put a little separation between the granite and the tile and then the rest of it no spacers I guess we have to make some fine cuts so I figure out what to do with this up here. Because it's crooked up there. The counter is even. The counter is even, but um, 
this under here is the cabinets, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, here, what we decided to do, or what he told me to do, was to start from the end. Some states start from the middle and work your way out. My husband told me to start from each corner and work my way in. That way any strange cuts could be behind this that you won't notice that much. So that's what I did. And of course he has to uh, do the cuts for around here. And I could have gone up a little further, but at this point I couldn't take it anymore. I was done. So I'll continue on Monday. Happy weekend. This is where we are still. He has to make the cuts. And the electrical outlet covers have to come out. We have to shut the power out off. And then we have to pull these switches out from the sockets or out from the box so the tile can go behind it. So it's a short day. I'm exhausted. Every part of my body hurts like hell down to my toenails. I did a little bit on this side as well. I skipped a few steps because I got lazy. I need to cut a piece to go there so I can go behind the refrigerator. Also, I did that side as well. So I was taking, making progress, I should say. I'm getting there. Of course, I have to pull the stove out from the wall, take off those switch covers. So I'm just doing as much as I can for now until that happens. Trying to get as much tile up there as I can for the day. I'm not rushing this project. I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> but I wasn't paying a whole lot of money to have this done. I'm trying to tie the backsplash myself, and I tell you, oh, God. <clears throat> this is my second day. I started on Saturday, took off yesterday and rested because I felt like I was coming down with something because Saturday evening I decided to wash my hair. And, of course, I went to bed with it wet, and I had the fan on and woke up the next morning feel like I was about to die. <clears throat> coming down with something, so I said, well, let me pull out the big drugs. <laughs> and uh, I took about a teaspoon of that, the cough syrup, and um, some orange juice, some soup, stuff like that. And I just made myself stay in the bed all day, something which is difficult for me to do. But I did it, and I feel a lot better today. Nip it in the bud right at the beginning. So I decided to, we went to um, Lowe's this morning to get another box of tile. And um, let's see what else. Oh, I had to get some um, those little spacers that when you take the, the electrical outlet out and the tile is pushing it further out. So you have to have, how do I explain it? The spacers brings the outlet forward in front of the tile so that you could screw the plate back on, something like that. And um, what else did I get? Oh, when we cut the power tomorrow, from the box. I want. I got one of those little testers because I want to make sure that um, I got adhesive all, I'm a mess. Um, I want to make sure I electrocute myself. My husband doesn't like to mess with electricity because he shocked himself once and he won't mess with it. But we're going to just shut the power down in the kitchen and um, use that little tester and just make sure there's no juice going through it. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos, so yeah. So anyway, um, I'm going to try to do a little bit more later on, but right now I just had to rest. This is not an easy job, and I just did not want to pay somebody to do this, you know, so. Especially when I can watch videos and learn how to do it myself. Okay, and plus, he has all the equipment to do tiling with, so there was no reason for us to pay. He even has the cutter, you know, the tile cutter, the works. So why pay somebody to come and put it in for us when we could do it ourselves? Well, I can do it, and he can do the cutting for me. 
He said, this is my project. Because if it was left up to him, the kitchen would stay the way it is. Which nothing was wrong with it. It's just that me, the decorator in me, <laughs> wants the backsplash. So I put one in. I was torn between doing the, uh, I do subway tile, and I was torn between doing the um, the stacked or the uh, brick laid, pro the brick pattern. So finally, when it came down to it, because the tile that I got, it's not real flat and it's not real straight. It's kind of, you know, wavy like. You'll see what you see. Or, or you'll see is what I um, <clears throat> showed earlier. I'm so tired I can't even talk straight or think straight. Anyhow, yeah. So, and then I was trying to decide what grout. Oh, mommy, I keep looking out the window. Um... I'm trying to decide now. I already purchased a grout, white grout. I was going to do everything all white. And um, then I was thinking about maybe I should put some black because there's black in the towel, you know, because I'm into this black and white situation thing going on over here in my home decor. See, as you can see a little bit, black and white. Anyway, but I think I'm going to go ahead and stick with the white. Just keep it, you know, clean. Yeah, plus I don't want to go out and have to go return that and get another one. I went to Home Depot the other day, and they didn't have any black. They had a gray, was the darkest color that they had, which gray might have been okay, but I would have preferred black because the grout lines in the towel is going to be real thin, so you won't see <coughs> too much, you know, grout. It's a real, real thin line of it. But I think, I'll, like I said, I'll just stick with what I have at this point. So hopefully I'm going to try to have this done by Wednesday. And I know later than Friday because then I'm going to let it sit for a day or so. And then I'll come back and grout it. And put the finishing touches on. And I'll have a tiled kitchen. Okay. As you can see, this side is almost done. I've got the outlets out. We still have to cut to, to fit that. And this is the part I was talking about if I had just started in the middle and worked my way out. But once I grow it, you won't notice it. And this piece, I'm trying to keep it lined up, okay? So it looks like I'm going to have to do more cuts than I plan on. And of course, two p two cuts for there. It's tricky. It's really tricky. And here is the other side, the stove side. Power is off. It's grouted. I started grinding on one side and then I worked on the other side later. So I decided to just do that side, grout it, and uh, take a break. Also, we still have to do that. I put the little piece up there, the little trim piece, and of course, here we are with the staggered, crooked ass tile. Anyway, let me quit complaining. Put the covers back on. I just still need to grout all that. And uh, screw, the, uh, screw the switch plate back on, which I haven't. It's just sitting there. I just want to kind of dry fit to see how everything looks. But that's done. It just needs to be grouted. Grouting is not easy. My arm felt like it was about to fall off. I even got to the point where I was sticking my fingers in the grout because the lines are so thin, and I would just rub it into the cracks with my fingers just to get it on there I'm not a professional so I did the best I could okay <laughs> uh, 
So as you can see over here on this side, so many tools and so much cutting. And, and I wanted to buy a um, manual cutter. He has a um, electro, uh, what's a, electrical uh, tile cutter. The one that you have to water the whole thing, the professional one. But the manual one would have been easier for me just to do the little manual cuts myself. We don't need that. So anyway, I sound like I'm bitching. I'm just mad at some point because I should have just did it my way. Anyway, main thing, it's done. So that has to be cut. And you see where the line, I try to draw it out on the wall so that we can cut the tile exact so that the lines can, you know, brick the brick pattern can stay consistent here. It got off at some parts, but uh, for the most, I was trying to do a little educational <laughs> tutorial here, but uh, I think at some point I confused myself. This is where I grouted that side of the wall to the right side of the kitchen sink. Um, I did that with my fingers. Now I'm trying to wipe the excess grout off the tile. I see some areas where I have to go back over, of course, because I didn't use a trowel. Because like I said, that thing hurts my arm. Trying to push that grout into the stone there. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I see a little part over there by the switch, which I'll fix. The cover is just sitting there. It's not on there permanently yet. Oops. But it looks like I'm going to put it on. I'll just put a little bit on the side on any other parts that I notice that might need some extra. I'll go back over it. But I'm going to tell you, I'm just done, you all. I'll never have to do this again. I get to give it out to the people that do this kind of work. I see why they charge what they charge. This is labor. Hard labor. <laughs> oh, gosh. Look at me. I'm just struggling trying to get this darn thing. Look at my hands. I'm going to have to scrub, scrub, take a hot, hot bath. I have bruises all over me like somebody beat the crap out of me. Oh, my God. And then one of my biggest fears was messing with the electrical. Even though we shut the power down, I had the testers. I put them in just to make sure it doesn't show red, that there's no juice going through those wires. I'm trying to use this little battery-operated thing, and it's giving me a hard time. I think I ended up going to get my regular manual screwdriver. Okay, worked that time. And, of course, I had to put spacers in there because otherwise, if I hadn't done that, oh, this is giving me hell. If I hadn't done that, the um, outlets would be pushed in further and it wouldn't look right. So I'm going to go get my manual and just do it the way I should have done it in the first place. And it's still fighting me. Yeah, you can see a big gap right there in the grout lines. But like I said, once I get that cover on, I'm so done. I'm just going to stick some grout right in that little spot right there. Call it a day. I'll get this thing on because I just want to cut my power back on. Actually, it is on. So let's tighten that up, and it's done. Yep, I'll fix that later. So there it is. Not bad for amateur. I still have to go out underneath the window, of course. And then I have to do a caulk along the bottom. There, yeah, just caulk all the little spaces like right under the sink there and between the tile and yeah, and the uh, counter has to be 
caulked. And that's a ceramic tile caulk. Now, see, I ended up buying the wrong darn color bone. It needs to be white. Thank goodness I did have some white. So I started off using the bone color. I wasn't paying attention. When I went to the store, I just went for caulk. And uh, I put it on here. I did not like it. So thank God I had the white one, as I said. And I just took that one out and used my white. And it looks a whole lot better. So I'm pointing out all the different places I have to fix. I have to fix the wall where it had messed up. We'll have some paint for do that. So just got to clean it up. Now, of course, I had to keep rinsing off, you know, my sponge. I didn't do it in the sink. You don't want to drop that in your sink or in your toilet because that's like sand. And you will clog up your pipes. So I had to keep taking the water outside and dumping it. Five days later, or the four days later, here it is. I'm done. Almost. I still have to uh, grout, not grout, but seal the grout. And I also have to caulk with my towel, ceramic towel caulk. I have to run across the line here. I'm going to also run it around the windows around here as well and on the sides and down. And once I do that then I'm going to add the sealer or I'm going to add the sealer first and then do that. By the way, this side will be done and then I'll try to have the other side done sometime next week. No rush. Here you can see I'm struggling with the caulk gun. Of course I used the wrong color. I wasn't paying attention when I was purchasing this in the store. Plus I forgot how to use this darn thing. Anyway I got the wrong color. I should have gotten white. But thank goodness I did have a tube of white. Because I would have been really upset <laughs> at myself. I ended up switching out the uh, caulk, the bone color caulk for the white caulk. And as you can see, I'm trying to do it here. Now, I know I should have taped off part of the top and part of the counter, but I was being lazy. I think I'm just tired and just had enough. <laughs> so, I have a tool, a grounding tool, which, of course, that didn't work out either. So, I just used my finger and just wipe up the excess. battling with this stuff but I think I got it. I'm going to touch up this with some paint right here. Some of the gray paint. 
but I'm getting, I started up with the wrong color, but good thing I had the white on hand. I have to fix that right there. Once it dries, I'll add some more there. Then I have to do this back here. See the color, different color, I didn't like that it needed to be white, so I'm fixing it. And we got over here on this side. Oh, it's leaking. It got wet back there, so I'm gonna have to wait until all this is dry. Oh, Clean it up. And, oh, try to clean that up. It's hard to get it behind the faucet. And then, I'll go back over all of this and uh, tidy it up. Take the towel. Make sure any excess grout on the stone before I try to seal this with the grout sealer. But looks nice for amateur. I'm going to give this about an hour to dry. To clean that up. And then I'm going to come back one more time, perhaps, run another line, let that dry, and then I'm going to seal the grout with my grout sealer. And put this side back together to be operational again. And, um, Start on this side tomorrow. Look, I saved myself seven to eight hundred dollars doing this myself. Okay, it may not be perfect, but it's all right. I did it. I'm not done. I still have to get up there, but I'm done for the day because I just mainly wanted to get this done. These things put back on, turn the power back on. Call it a day. I'm not worried about all this being even. This is my house, so I could care less. Um, the refrigerator will cover all that up against here you won't see all that so I'm gonna let this dry and probably tomorrow or maybe Monday Monday's a holiday though I'm not happy with how this part came out right here but hopefully it won't be as noticeable when I push the stove back against there Sit down. Oh, geez, I'm so tired. Okay, as you can see, I have to do that. And it's going to be another got more tile and a thin cut to get underneath the cabinet. I have to calculate how many more tiles there. I think I have enough tiles to finish this job. But what I'm going to do is once I feel it's dry around the outlet area where I'm going to put the covers. I'm going to run a little like I did here. A little messy. Some grout in these areas because it's going to be covered up. Take note. See where the little red fingers are pointing? The tile should have been cut above there so a screw could go through those holes.
but I was able to fasten the bottom ones.